speaking of good years, All 2007 right. was a good year for movies. It really was actually that movie was that year was yeah, fucking it was. nuts. <laughs> like, uh, but you know what also came out in 2007 was Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof. So if we want to move into uh, our next director's dive, talk about some Tarantino. What did you guys think of Death Proof? Uh, yeah. Well, what Man. did you think first off? This is my first time watch. You know, this this rounds out my Tarantino catalog. So now I've seen everything. And uh, nice. yeah, it's good. Feels good. Um, it's a little sad, but, you know, it always is. Uh, ah, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's my least What's favorite my Tarantino, I think. I mean, okay. I'll, I'll compare it to Hateful Eight when we get there and just kind of, you know, measure him up. But like, I think the craft of the hateful eight is much better than this movie. So like this one just is going to fall to the, to the, to the weakest position. But, uh, you know, I mean, I'll go into why, but I just don't think this one is that good. So I don't check what I rated it. I had a book. Like it's a, it's a romp. This movie, like yeah, it's, it's a fucking ride. It's having fun. Yeah. 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 Look, I'll say it was my first time watching it too. And, Same. uh, so I think it like did what it was trying to do and like it's definitely Tarantino and like I kind of expected it to not be like super fucking awesome but like I will say I feel like this could have been like an hour long short um, I feel like having it have it be two hours and basically split into two main parts like at, when you get to the halfway point and Kurt Russell like you know commits the first murders I guess like it really fucking drops off and slows down. And I feel like you can just cut out like so much of the useless dialogue. And like, you could have made this like an hour long short. Um, and I, I, but like that being said, like I still liked it. And like the dialogue is obviously like Tarantino, sh his shit. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I kind of, it kind of dragged fair. for me a little bit, um, but overall yeah. I liked it. I liked the end and I liked the last group of girls better than the first group. Yeah, I yeah. kind of didn't really care that they died, um, but I didn't want the ones at the end to die actually. Nice. <laughs> Badasses, dude. Yeah. As soon as yeah. they like take that joy ride and the riding on the hood and shit. Yeah. And then dude, and I up. love like yeah. at the end when like, I don't know when, when Kurt Russell gets shot and he's like, <laughs> he's acting, like such a little bitch. <laughs> like, I don't know. I kind of love that. that actually. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's like laughing. And screaming brought this to a certain level. It was so good. Yeah. Was like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it might be. I don't know. It might be my favorite Kurt Russell moment. Like he's a good actor, but like that's just. I don't think I'll ever forget that moment. It's just fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like trying to patch himself up, just getting the <laughs> shit kicked like, out of him by the punch, 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 yeah. Kick, punch, kick. <laughs> yeah. That's a great. That's a good ending for sure. Yeah. Uh, shit. Um, what what's your take on this one, Alex? In the Tarantino catalog, what's your what's the vibe? Yeah, so on this rewatch with all Tarantino movies, I feel like for for me at least, the rewatches are just so rewarding. Like like similar to what Joe was saying, it accomplished what it was going to accomplish, which was like the grindhouse, you know, just a bullshit movie where he's just having a blast, right? Yeah. And for me, that was like. I think he did it, but he went above and beyond by adding in some useless dialogue here and there and making the characters more rich than they had to be. And just including like just people from like the Kill Bill, you know, where he's got son number one and the dad and they're talking about him. And it's just like, OK, so this is in Tarantino's universe. So it's just Tarantino being Tarantino doing rock star shit. So I think I don't know. I just I really liked it the second watch through. And I think that it was fun. And it makes me want to watch it again because I had more fun with yeah. this watch through. I think when I was first, when I first watched it, it was the last one in the catalog and I was just kind of check it off. Uh, but yeah, this watch through, I was just like, I really enjoyed it. And I think Kurt Russell, now this might be a hot take, but it might be his best like performance. Hmm. Hateful yeah. Eight's coming up though. I'm, we'll I'm see, with you there, this, man. I'm, yeah. It's just like from the very beginning when he's talking in the bar about the woman with the woman who needs a ride home and he's like talking about what he's eating and all that stuff. I was just so like, yeah, 
I'm here, man. Keep going. Keep talking. <laughs> I could sit here and talk to Stuntman Mike for fucking forever because he was fun, engaging, and it was just such a good performance. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, when when he's fun. eating his nachos, there was a certain majesty to those shots, dude. Like the way that the not yeah. like the cheese and the and his like scarfing them down, dude. Yep. <laughs> that was like one of the. I don't know why that <laughs> moment is like one of the highlights, but it was so. <laughs> I just love that moment, but yeah, I mean for sure. He, he uh he carries the movie because to me it like there's there's glimpses of like Tarantino shit here, but I really don't feel Tarantino a lot of the time in this movie. I mean I feel him, okay. but like to me I just this movie is a lot of rambling. I mean like, he's literally there. He's there. I mean he's got his cameo. <laughs> he's in the bar having a good time or whatever. But the dialogue in this is just so meandering. I feel like in a lot of the scenes, and I and and mm-hmm. I get it because Tarantino is known for his long dialogue scenes and like digging in and characters bouncing around but like but it just seems like a lot of fluff sometimes right yeah, this movie has yeah. too much fluff it's like yeah it's like yeah. all just surface level like bullshit where it's just like doesn't matter at all and like i'm not interested See, that's what and, I, th- like, I thought that my first watch through but this one like it just kind of played into the fact like i think he was being self-aware in this i mean the feet shots alone having kurt russell tickle and lick her oh feet God, it man. just felt like <laughs> this is tarantino much, telling man. us like look guys I know what I am. I'm having a good time. Now enjoy, you know? Yeah, but I'd, I'd like to see him in his later movies, which we will see, where it's like, I'm going all in on my shit. This is like, I'm going all in on cheesy grindhouse shit. And it's like, that's not that good. I mean, I, yeah. I'm going to just, I, I'm going to give this movie like three stars, I think, honestly, which is my lowest Tarantino rating. But it, honestly, yeah. he's like shooting for a three stars, which is like, I, I'm giving him the right rating, I think, where it's like, if you're watching a shitty B movie like this, it's going to be a three star movie. So like it's, you know, he did it, he did it to me, but it's like, it doesn't, it's not elevated to a level of like self-awareness in in my perspective, I guess. But like, I mean, he is self-aware, but it's just not entertaining enough then I guess, but. That's, that's a fair take. I think, I mean, it is, I think my least favorite of the Tarantino's, but I mean, it's still there of them all i it's still up there i mean i'm still like wanting to watch it again just after watching it you know mm-hmm. i don't know and maybe if you guys rewatch it you'll have mm-hmm. different opinion because i had a pretty similar opinion on my first watch through again i like i said i it kind of felt like a checkbox type thing mm-hmm. but at the same time i was just kind of like oh, yeah that was like like you said a b movie it was fine and yeah. like tarantino knew it was a b movie going into it but this watch through, it just felt, like I said, more self-aware and Tarantino having fun being Tarantino, but making a Tarantino B-movie. So it just stands above yeah. those. It's elevated. So, above, yeah, it's yeah, like it's a right. I mean, the editing yeah, mistakes and, were fun, you know, but yeah. it got tedious yeah. a little bit after a while. I did, I love, did like the little like glitches in the shots and stuff. Yeah, right? like, I don't know. She's like at the end of the last dance, they're just like repeat. outside after right. that. Like, I don't know. I kind of like real or something. Yeah, shit. I liked that. Yeah. I really yeah. loved the title change at the beginning of the movie where it's like Thunderbolt <laughs> death proof. Like, yeah, I thought yeah. that was really fun. Like, just like he he already changed the title, <laughs> you know, like. Uh, but I don't know. There was one kind of editing thing I didn't really I, I, like understand. I guess uh, like um, when it gets to basically like the second half, and uh, <clears throat> like wait, you said something about the cops, like the cop and his son or whatever, in the hospital, and they were from Kill yeah. Bill. Yeah. Because yeah, I totally like picked that up. I like had to look that up. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry I didn't like say anything earlier. But uh, I like totally. I wrote that down as a note because I thought it was interesting. And I'm like, damn, I've seen the, this guy before somewhere. But like the right after that, the gas station too. Yeah, I mean, it's a kill bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that's cool too. Dope as hell. He um, talks about Daryl Hannah too. Like, there's dialogue about yeah. the actress that plays. Yeah. Ella. Like, I don't know. There's too yeah, many layers in this movie for me. Like, it's too in. Inti- it's too inside Tarantino's head. You know, like <laughs> he didn't let um, me out <laughs> enough. But yeah, so like, there's when they're at the gas station, like the gas station scene. Um, I think it starts off in color, and then it just like snaps to black and white, mm-hmm. and then at one point it just like snaps out of black and white into color. I, assume... um, I guess it's just because Kurt Russell leaves, but like. I don't know. It was just like a weird transition for me because I didn't think it like immediately happened after Kurt Russell left. But Mm -hmm. I'm now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably the whole reason why it was in black and white. I guess like the idea I got was like 
they filmed that reel in black and white on accident or like they only could afford the re- reel in black and white for that section or some shit metally from in Tarantino's head, you know, like that's what yeah. I got, but yeah, I have no idea. I think that's what they were going for. I mean, it's like they, I mean, he scratched all the film himself to make mm-hmm. it like marred up so I, that's probably like what matt's saying that was the idea going into it okay yeah yeah i, I mean, don't know it's, it's I out just, of nowhere uh, it's very random to me yeah. too yeah so it's like yeah. there's yeah, not really like justified in any way that you could gauge i'd say but <clears throat> yeah and i mean the main cast i was like i knew kind of the actresses i was like looking for and yeah, I mean they they come in way too late in this movie. I feel like like if if you shortened the first group to thirty minutes and even left an hour and a half for the second group, I think I'd I'd think I'd like it more too. The there's just like a weird pacing problem in the in like the two halves of the movie, like you said. Like it's just like they they don't fit. They don't like the only thing that fits is I Kurt like Russell. The first half a lot better than the second half i feel I mean, like, I like the end of the second half but the first half just felt i don't know it's more fun the characters had better chemistry and it was yeah it was a lot more fun yeah. I, f- I feel I that put in uh one of my notes is that uh well there's like a name for the scream but i always think of it as like a stormtrooper scream the but like Wilhelm. it happened to put, yeah the wilhelm scream i yeah. noticed like in yeah. there at one point oh yeah i thought, I thought yeah, that was that it was like way yeah. in your face too right wasn't it yeah was it during I the think crash? It was at the first crash, yeah. I think. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck that would be, you know? <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> Maybe Kurt totally Russell, outside. I guess. Like, <laughs> Maybe actually with the way brutal, he's screaming dude. at the end, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, I mean, that's true. The death proof scene, I mean, it, it just, I was like, finally, we're getting this somewhere, dude, because that scene was great. I mean, it was awesome. Like the, the all, build up all and. Cuts, and yeah. yeah. All cuts to each person's death. Yeah, yeah, yeah I liked all the flashbacks to the deaths. Yeah, that was fun. And. The scene before that too just like set me it set it all up where it was like well you got to be in my seat or whatever the fuck he says to really you know like and then he's yeah. just like bouncing her around and shit like it's just I, yeah, yeah. I, was just, I wanted more i guess of that even i was thinking at first i'm like how would they not know that like um because he killed the one girl like first just in the car by slamming on the brakes and shit um but then, like, thinking back, I'm like, I guess she could have just died in the accident. Like, they would just assume that she died. I guess, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. That's but, like, I, I don't know. But I like... One of my favorite scenes was, like, the sheriff and his son, honestly. I mean, that that scene is, like, Tarantino. It's like... Yeah. We've locked into Tarantino right now, but... uh I love like at the end when he's like, he'll never do this again in Texas immediately to like Tennessee or some yeah, shit. Like, yeah. The one line that I wrote down, I was like, dude, this is just fucking so much fun where it's like, I could do all this. I could spend so much time or I could put the same amount of energy into NASCAR. <laughs> he's like, what do you think? I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. What do you think I should do here? <laughs> the fuck he says, like, yeah, it's just, I don't know. The whole, that whole scene was, was some gold, I think of the movie, but it also links to, uh, planet terror which i did watch also because it's supposed to be like a little double feature thing so yeah i didn't end up watching it but uh i mean either i don't know maybe i will you know it's it's another um, three star for me but uh it's fun it's and it's fun. weird and it's gross but it's like it's shitty because <laughs> there's like i mean there's like zombies or something in it right yeah it's like weird little that's why i'm like i didn't know if it was like essential to watch but like from yeah. just like the like uh i don't know those Basic characters cross over. That- the nurse crosses over. I, th- I think it's like taking place before Planet Terror. I would assume. <laughs> I think it has yeah. to. But uh, yeah, um, the zombies. Yeah, because the world goes to like insanity in that movie. So like, yeah. <laughs> chick has a leg Tim gun. So. He plays rapist number one. I believe his character is so terrible in that movie. It's like, why did you pick that? I don't know, Tarantino. I don't know, man. Uh, can't put him in a box, dude. Can't put him in a box. Can't, can't pin him down. What's he I gonna do next? Dude, immediately though, when this opened, I mean, it's an homage kind of to Lolita, but I was like, dude, Tarantino must love Lolita. Like, I was just, he must love mm. that movie. I don't know. This, I mean, it's obsessive in this movie. Yeah. The feed shots, it's, it goes yeah. to a whole nother, whole nother level. It is, it, it is. <laughs> It is piggy heavy for sure. All right. It's no, it's no, uh, what's the vampire movie from Dust Till Dawn where Tarantino like literally inserted himself to suck on feet, but like it's, it's oh, no. Salma Hayek's feet of all it's people. Like there. I, hey, I mean, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, but uh, like I said, oh my guy, I, most Tarantino movies are like four stars and above. Honestly, just purely on entertainment value. But like this one, uh, I'm I'm dropping her down. I'll probably bump it up to like three and a half in the end, where it's like, you know what, he had, you know, yeah. he went out and did it. But like, man, it's just not that. Just the style, man. Just the style factor. That's like that's what Death Proof has going for it. The for car, sure. you know, like just smart car design, you know, and black and white, fucking road raging, that kind of shit. Yeah, girl dancing yeah, on dudes know. and for ten minutes, fucking just yeah. grinding. And, yeah. <laughs> I ended up giving it a three and a half, just because, like. I don't know. I mean, yeah. really, it, it was entertaining. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I feel like it just kind of like did what it was trying to do. And mm-hmm. I don't know. Hey, some yeah. movies don't fucking don't do that shit. So. Some For movies sure. peter out. This I mean, like, I don't know. He knew it wasn't going to be good going or like, you know, super awesome. Like one of his best movies yeah. going in. I mean, like, right. I, I don't exactly. know. He know he knew what he was making. Like, right. I don't right. know. He went above and beyond for a B movie. So I mean, yeah. yeah. yeah dedication yeah. yeah that's why it gets three stars because it's like you don't give a b movie four stars you know it's like i, I gave a b movie four stars i'll what, give this four stars which one I'm, I'm between four four and a half right now i mean okay. fucking i i put planet terror up four and a half i had a blast watching that shit okay yeah. it is fun i think i was waiting for the leg gun to show up like way sooner instantly it takes yeah. like an hour and 45 minutes to get the leg gun oh. going it's on the poster like I don't know. It's been built up in my brain Get for the 10 leg years. Gun going. I was like, I want to see more leg gun, but. Black I, I, I feel that. I feel that. I'm fucking also spoilers, Matt. It. Like, now I'm going to know. <laughs> I'm going to be waiting poster. for the leg gun. Look at the poster, man. <laughs> Do some other shit for an hour and a half, and then you'll be like, oh, yeah. leg gun. There it is. Yeah. Like, and that's what it's like giving. It's giving you that moment in that movie, too, but it's just like way too late, in my opinion. But um, anyways, Death Proof. Yeah, you know. It's fun. I, I did read that Tarantino even considers it his weakest, which makes me justified in being like, that's, you know, not yeah. very good. Uh, but uh, at least he's like self-aware enough to realize it. You know, I mean, he knew catalog. what he was making. Like right. he knew it wasn't going to be as good as the well, rest of them. I think like, he knows it's not it went up the to the level he wanted it to be, yeah. though. Like in even so, like. Oh, gotcha. OK. But because he's, I, he's I had interviews where he says kind of as such, but like he still considers it. A Tarantino, like it's still like his movie, and I'm sure he thinks it's better than he, most. Did he like movie. give any any like? Did he speak on like what he would change about it or what he didn't like I'm about it? Or what I read, I don't think it was very specific, it but I think he just yeah. knows. Like he said something about how it's like his weakest film, and I think he did say something how it's like still not bad, but it's like within his like realm. You know, it's not mm. his other ones. Yeah, All right. yeah, it's Tarantino bad, right. which is still. So Faux <laughs> yeah. show. Well, I mean, from worst to best, potentially next week, I'd say, because I mean, it's my favorite it's as nice. of now. Uh, but I guess we'll talk next week. See how it see how it stacks up in the modern age. It's in Glorious Bastards next week. So, oh, let's fucking right into it. it. Yeah. Oh, so it's, yeah. it's gonna be a fun talk, I think. So, and then that. and then we're going into his best movie. You think actually. so? Actually. That's fair. I mean, I'm Absolutely. curious because I think the next one after is his most enjoyable movie. So I'm curious if it's his best now, but we'll see, you know, when we yeah, stack we'll them see. up. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> Hell yeah.